Uh, Mark, not the result we wanted from an Albion perspective, but uh, what did you make of the display? Proud of the you know the fight Albion put up on the pitch? Yeah, I was, I was proud of them to be honest. I think um, obviously really disappointed, but I thought Wolves had two breakaway goals, and I thought we had most of the pressure. I didn't think there was that much between the two sides, to be honest. Wolves are very solid. They're obviously in the Premier League. The good out, side. Man. We had some good chances, but we didn't take them. They took their chances. At the end of the day, in my opinion, that was the difference in the two sides. Yeah, I mean, the first goal, one mistake from us, and they go down and show their quality. You know, they are the Premier League side at the end of the day. And, um, yeah, it, it was the quality that showed at the end of the day. One mistake done. I think the second goal was offside, and that's probably what caused the trouble. But, yeah, I mean, 2-0. You know, at least now we can focus on the playoff. Um, you know, the playoffs. So, yeah. Yeah, it's it's disappointing to go 2 0 down against uh, Wolves, but yeah, it is what it is. In terms of what we saw off the pitch today, and, and that's what everyone will talk about. You know, what did you make of it? I know it's a rivalry, a derby that we haven't seen for a long time, but it's not the scenes you want to see. I'm very sad. I'm really sad. There were people around me who I've seen before, and they were throwing plastic bottles. And but uh, I mean, I don't know. There's so many rumours going around. Apparently, there was some Wolves fans in the uh, Halfers Lane ran by where the players' families were and that's why all the players ran towards the uh, the trouble which you wouldn't see normally so there's got to be something in that I guess yeah, it's very disappointing to you really no, pretty abs disgraceful absolutely scene. not I totally condemn anybody that was involved in that and the worst thing was we've had three players substituted because I suspect they were impacted by that I don't know if you saw Carl Bartley was walking back from that corner with his kids that is totally unacceptable that he should not be able to finish the game because he was upset by that which I'm assuming that's happened so you know and who do you blame for that? Yeah it was it basically I seen all the police presence right from the high street uh, to be honest there was a massive police operation um, so credit to West Midlands police for trying to control it uh, but yeah it was it was expected I don't condone the scenes at the end there um, like to, I thought the game would be abandoned to be honest with how much trouble there was but you know we managed to play out the last 10 minutes or so and yeah it was uh, it was really disappointing to see I know there's going to be like sanctions for both clubs really for that so in terms of Albion's display after you know they came back we didn't think they'd come back out but they came back out started a little bit slowly but had a few chances at the end and it looked like they might, might be yeah, able to do, maybe able to nick something it did yeah it did and, and I'm guessing that uh, they made so many changes because I'm, I'm sure Bartley was well we saw Bartley carrying his children yeah, off of course yeah so I'm I, you know I'm, I'm assuming some of the players are very upset so that's why we made the changes it would be interesting if we'd have got a, a couple of goals and equalised but I, I wouldn't I go all, away with all the time with the Albion but I probably wouldn't have gone for the replay for my own personal safety. Yeah, yeah, we had a few at the end. I mean, we looked more likely to score in the last 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, you know, like I said, the, the Premier League quality of Wolves shone through. Um, first time they beat us here in like 26 years. So yeah, it's it's a tough one to take, but we'll move on. We got Birmingham on Saturday, so two derbies in seven days, you know, um, but we just got to focus on the league now. And in terms of the display from Albion today, obviously went toe to toe with you know I know a rival but a Premier League side. Bodes well now for the for the rest of the season. Hopefully the, the, the playoffs. I think push. it does, but I mean you know it just shows that all the way through the season we don't have the options to bring on up front, do we? Uh, and uh, and you know it's it's although I thought uh, Thomas Asante was fantastic again today, the amount of effort he puts in, you know, we should be very proud.